Ornamental gardens and landscaping help enhance our homes, properties, and the outdoor experience. So, it's important to take care of our plants' health and address any weeds when they appear. Weeds take the form of any undesirable plant, and when they get in our ornamental flower beds, they'll steal essential nutrients and water away from the plants we care about. So, in this video, we'll show you how to get rid of and prevent weeds growing in your ornamental space so you can maintain a healthy garden year-round. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about lawn care, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. There's a large variety of weeds that can pop up in most ornamental gardens, from grassy weeds to broadleaf weeds, and from perennials to annuals. Grassy weeds grow long, slender blades of grass and often blend in with turf, making them difficult to spot. Different grassy weeds include poa annua, crabgrass, and even your own lawn's turf grass can be a weed if it spreads into the garden bed where it doesn't belong. Broadleaf weeds grow wide leaves with branching veins. Different broadleaf weeds include dandelion, dollar weed, and clover. Annual weeds grow for a single season, produce seeds, and die. The seeds grow next season, continuing the life cycle. Different annual weeds include crabgrass and spurge. Perennial weeds produce a flowering body during their growing seasons and spread through both seeds and through roots, stolons, or other similar parts. The flowering body dies at the end of the season but will regenerate through the existing root, stolon, etc. Even if one tries to remove a perennial weed by pulling it, any remaining parts can reproduce the entire plant. Perennial weeds include dandelion and ground ivy. Be sure to accurately identify what weeds are growing in your garden bed, as different weeds will have different approaches to treatment and will even require different products in many cases. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm their presence or find hotspots of activity. Inspect the garden to determine which weeds are present and how severe of an infestation you have. If you have weeds that appear repeatedly, take note of the times they emerge. For weeds that are presently established in your lawn, you'll need to use a post-emergent herbicide. If there are no weeds present, but you know some will sprout later in the season, then you can apply a pre-emergent herbicide to prevent them from germinating. After identifying your pest and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE and remember to keep all people and pets out of the treated areas until dry. If you have broadleaf annual weeds, you can remove them by hand or with a garden shovel. Unlike perennials, these weeds won't grow during their next growing cycles unless they've already produced seeds. If you know you're dealing with perennial weeds or anything that will easily grow back, then you will need to apply a post-emergent herbicide. We recommend Eraser. Eraser contains the active ingredient glyphosate, so it will quickly kill any plant it is applied to. This product is often used to control weeds in cement cracks and crevices, but it can also be used to get rid of weeds in garden beds. We suggest you mix and apply Eraser in a handheld pump sprayer marked non-selective. To spot treat with this product, mix the labeled rate of 1.5 fluid ounces of product in 1 gallon of water to treat 300 square feet. For tougher weeds, you can use 2.5 fluid ounces. With your solution, spray the leaf surfaces of any weeds you've spotted. Apply with a fan spray setting for the best coverage. You'll need to be cautious not to get any product on any non-target plants. The fortunate thing about Eraser is that it has no soil activity and needs to be applied directly to the leaves to take effect. Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. Even after you've applied pesticides, the best way to stop weed growth is to make sure it can't happen. After you've removed all weeds from your garden, you can prevent new ones from growing in their places by applying a pre-emergent herbicide like Barricade. Barricade granular pre-emergent herbicide will form a chemical barrier that will prevent seeds from germinating. To determine how much Barricade to apply, first measure the area's square footage by multiplying its length by its width. To control weeds in ornamental beds and landscaping, you can apply this product at the labeled rate of 2.5 pounds per 1,000 square feet of treatment area. We recommend you apply this product with a hand spreader. Once your product has been applied, water it in with at least 2 inches of water. If there's rain in the near forecast, you can let Mother Nature do the work. When applied properly, you should notice little to no weed activity in the treated area for the duration of the season. 
Ornamental gardens and landscaping enhance your homes and outdoor spaces, but they can be ruined if weeds are allowed to grow unaddressed. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can get rid of weeds growing on your property, and we offer free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share, and if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.